Hello well wishers and welcome to my channel Aspiring Minds. In today's video, we are going to discuss a war poem once again by Wilfred Owen called Spring Offensive. You can understand how interesting the poem is going to be from the oxymoron in the title Spring and how can spring be offensive? So grab your virtual seats and let's begin. Let us know a little bit about the poet Wilfred Owen. He lived between 1893 to 1918. He is a renowned English poet known for powerful war poetry. He was a specialist in writing war poetry and do you know why? Because he was one of those people who had had a first hand experience of war and it is because of this that he portrays such a realistic image of the horrors and the futility, the uselessness of war. Spring Offensive was written during World War I which was a time marked by conflict in the trench warfare, gas attacks and heavy casualties. The soldiers were dying like anything. The poem describes a brief sense of respite or rest that comes to the soldiers when they were fighting during the springtime and the soldiers take a moment to rest before launching on an offensive attack. However, this rest is short-lived and the poem explores the sudden and brutal return to the battle by the soldiers. central message of the poem revolves around the contrast that exists between that brief moment of peace amidst nature by the soldiers and that danger that is there due to the violence of war. So the poem explores the experience of the soldiers as they are transitioning from a peaceful moment in the natural world to the chaos and danger of the battle, highlighting the abrupt and shocking nature of War. Now a video on war poetry is already live on my channel. After watching this video, you can also have a look at that video to get a clearer picture of what war poetry is, what are the sentiments, the emotions that are involved when such poems were composed in the past by Wilfred Owen and other poets like him in English literature. So let us now begin decoding the line by line meaning of the poem. Stanza 1 Halted against the shade of a last hill, they fed, and lying easy, were at ease, and finding comfortable chests and knees, carelessly slept. Now one observation is see how frequently there is use of the punctuation comma to show that moment of rest. The soldiers have come to a halt. They are resting now near the shelter of a final hill. They take a break to eat and lie down comfortably, finding ease and relaxing in that moment. Some have even fallen asleep carelessly. You can imagine how exhausted the and tired the soldiers must be that even in the war zone, even though they know it is dangerous, they have fallen asleep. Stanza 2 But many there stood still to face the stark blank sky beyond the ridge, knowing their feet had come to the end of the world. Marveling they stood and watched the long grass swirled by the May breeze murmurous with wasp and midge for though the summer oozed into their veins like the injected drug for their bones pains sharp on their souls hung the imminent line of grass fearfully flashed the sky's mysterious glass so let's see what is being told here now while many soldiers are resting over here they are you know, amazed to see the vast empty sky beyond the ridge, they realize that they have reached the edge of the known world, literally and metaphorically. They stand in awe. They are observing the long grass swirling in the May breeze. Remember, it is springtime when the poem is set and there is a gentle hum of 
insects like the wasps and the midges i have the image of it you will see it in a short while now despite the summer which is injecting warmth into their veins like a soothing drug remember when you've got hurt when you're excessively tired we are suggested to go for hot water bath etc so here the sun's rays are providing comfort to the aching bones of the soldiers however there is also a sense of danger symbolized by the sharp lines of grass and the mysterious threatening flash of the sky so you see how nature in its own way is temporarily trying to provide that relief that rest that relaxation to the soldiers before they take that final leap to attack at the enemy Stanza 3 hour after hour they ponder the warm field and i'm not reading the entire stanza for you but over here we see that for us the soldiers are thinking deeply they are contemplating the warm fields and the distant valley where the buttercups buttercups are, are very beautiful yellow looking flowers so they are also observing how the buttercup cups are there all over i'm having a tongue slip over here but buttercups are those yellow flowers which are aligned on the path towards which they are supposed to go even the small brambles like the prickly uh, you know shrubs which are there they are refusing to you know let go of the soldiers that they are feeling as if the prickly shrubs are trying to hold on clutch on to the soldiers so that they don't go because once they go ahead to attack there is no certainty whether they'll come back alive or dead the soldiers breathe quietly resembling unstirred trees there's a sudden chilling world which tightens their bodies and souls for the battle there are no traditional alarms of bugles or high flags this is a very raw kind of battle happening it's very unplanned so there is no indication being given to them only a subtle change in the surrounding a lift and flare of eyes facing the sun a friend with whom their love affair seems to be over the larger smile against the sun appears mightier mocking those who have rejected its bounty so we see over here that the soldiers are now preparing for that battle there are some people which uh, some elements of nature which are preventing them from going ahead and others are mocking them because you know they know that these soldiers are going ahead for a battle for which there is no certainty whether they'll come back alive or dead Stanza 4 So soon they topped the hill and raced together over an open stretch of herb and heather exposed and instantly the whole sky burned with fury against them and soft sudden cups opened in thousands for their blood and the green slopes chasmed and steepened sheer to infinite so we see over here in stanza 4 that the soldiers reach the top of the hill and run together over an open stretch of land where there's herb and heather the entire sky turns hostile as if the sky has also become like an enemy for them because the sky seems to be burning with fury against them that is they do no longer see the blue color in the sky but they perhaps might be seeing a reddish orange grayish smoky kind of sky soft cups seem to open in the sky representing thousands of potential wounds and the green slopes become treacherous steeping into an infinite abyss that is the slope that was seeming like a friend to them that was making them you know giving them that temporary rest becomes extremely steep and it seems as if that the 
soldiers while they were attacking because of the slopy terrain of that area they were rolling and falling over the mountain so how nature at one instant had become like a friend something that was soothing them and providing them ease amidst this dangerous situation and on the other hand very soon once they launch that attack it is as if the nature has become offensive the nature is also not cooperating with the soldiers Now stanza 5 is very important. It states that as the soldiers are running on the last high ground, some soldiers leap into the path of unseen bullets. They are climbing up and then what are they facing? They are facing hot blast of bomb shells and the fury of hell's upsurge when a person is thrust into hell, it is believed that hell is a very hot place like you know it's a place which is going to literally burn you up so they are also having a hellish experience because you can imagine a terrible battlefield scene where there are bombs and shelling and bullets being fired and cannons and fireballs everywhere so that is the setting right so we say that over here that some of the soldiers believe that the that god caught these soldiers even before they fell however those who ventured close to the brink of existence but moved too swiftly to sink are left without a clear fate the few soldiers who willingly entered hell surpassing the enemies that were there in this place they had superhuman qualities and they returned and slowly regained a sense of peace and wonder in the cool air that is there are some soldiers who got burnt in hell in this battlefield and some managed to save them save their lives and come back to a safe place where they were being able to feel at peace and breathe in the cool air however the poem questions that why they remain silent about their fallen soldiers there are some that survived but others died so why are the soldiers who have survived being quiet about their comrades who have died in the battle they should raise their voice against this torture So we see that there are four major themes of the poem. Firstly, there is a contrast which is being presented to us between the peaceful natural setting and the violent reality of war. The poem also explores the dehumanizing effect of war that is how the soldiers are facing inhumanity. They are having to face a lot of shame, torture and so much of physical brutality during war. thirdly the poem emphasizes this quick abrupt sudden transition from a state of rest to a state of battle capturing how unpredictable and shocking situation of war is like and lastly what we also saw in stanza 5 there is a silence that is there around these comrades the soldiers who have died there is a sense of reluctance to speak about their sacrifice highlighting the emotional toll, toll of war that is the soldiers as if believe that okay someone has died someone is alive there is no emotion attached to life and death when our near and dear ones die or if a new baby takes birth in the family it is such a happy or a sad occasion in both the cases but over here life and death has become something which is not generating any kind of emotion in these soldiers that is how immune they have become to emotions amidst the harsh reality of war
So that's it from this video. I hope you liked it. Do hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more such future updates. Thank you for watching. Bye.